Congratulations, the man for the big moment. You enjoyed that goal, didn't you? Yeah, I liked it because I knew, I knew the rubbish we would have got if we had lost two games in a bounce, you know. I think with these games, you've got to have a keep perspective in mind, you know. There's a lot of lads making debuts. A lot of those boys I've never played with before, and I thought we created a lot of chances, you know. I had the one there that I should score, and a couple of other shots at goal, and I'm happy that I can make it up to the team, but really we should be winning with all the chances we made. Myself, Phil, Kobe had some big ones, so one of those things, I think it's two games that will stand us in great stead going into the Euros. Um, I know everyone will be negative about it, but you have to um, take these games for what they are, and use the positives, learn from the negatives, and I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, it does look like from the outside, it's been quite a difficult camp with a lot of the injuries, but what's the feeling like amongst the players? You know, we trust everyone that comes into the squad. They're all in the squad for a reason, because they're good players. So we trust everyone that comes in. Um, of, co of course, it's hard for the gaffer. People need to realise how hard a job it is, you know. You plan these games, these, these size of games, because you expect a fully fit team, and you expect to give it um, a really good crack. And, you know, the skipper gets injured, Bakayo, Hendo's obviously out. Walk, Stonesy now, so it's a really difficult one for us, um, but I'm sure the manager's glad with the players that he got to see because they came in and they were brilliant. So, yeah, over the two games, I'm pleased with my teammates. Of course, never happy to lose and draw, but you've got to be pleased with how some of them played. Well, Ivan, you said you wanted to score tonight. You did that. Talk me through how it felt being out there. Yeah, it felt very good. Like I said the other day, I was excited and I woke up extra early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was good to get out there and uh, get, get a goal. And, I was buzzing for when Jude scored that goal because it would have been pretty pointless if I scored and we lost. I'm a winner, I want to get something from the game and we got, we got a draw in the end. Well, the beauty of Jude's goal is we can reflect on yours as well. But when Vertonghen made that challenge, did you know straight away it was going to be a penalty? Yeah, he come through me and got the ball as well. So it's kind of like 50-50, but I felt like it was more of a penalty than not. So, and the ref thought, that, thought so as well. So. You were made to wait though, ever any doubts? And what was going through your mind at that point? No, just relax. I always relax on penalties, just wait. Wait for the keepers to get on the line, make him wait for me rather than me wait for him and just do what I do best and put it in the back of the net. And as for your all-round performance, the manager's just been incredibly complimentary. How did you feel you slotted in? Yeah, I felt like that's my job. My job's to uh, come in and do a job and score goals and help the team. And I felt like I've done that well today. I linked, linked play well, got into the box when I could and uh, we created chances, had a few chances. But yeah, it was a good, good performance I felt. and. Uh, it was good to get something from the game. <laughs> Rob Green said in commentary that you have more than staked your claim. Do you feel like you have? You'll be in that Euro squad? I hope so. I hope so. I hope, I hope we've done enough. But like I said, I've said plenty of times before, it's always going to be competition, friendly competition. And uh, yeah, we're all, we're all here to help each other. So whoever it is, I'm sure they'll do a job and uh, help the team. Well, Gareth, in a squad decimated by injuries, did we just see how important Jude Bellingham is to this team? Well, I think um, there were lots of important performances tonight. Uh, Jude's obviously a huge goal threat for us and gave us that driving force. Um, but also, you know, the other substitutes that came on had a big impact at the end of the game and we deserve something from it. We created so many good chances throughout the game. We struggled a bit defensively, um, but the two games for us, we've learned a huge amount and um, some players that have come in have done exceptionally well. Let's talk about Ivan Tony. Started tonight, won and scored a penalty. Has he played his way into your Euro squad, do you feel? Well, I thought his link play was excellent. He, uh, his work without the ball was very good. Obviously, the, the way he takes the penalties is, uh, is a huge uh, bonus as well. So I was really pleased with what he did. Kobe Maynou as well, got 74 minutes. What did you make of his overall performance? Very composed. Um, you know, he's, he's so comfortable receiving under pressure and um, he helped us to connect the game at a time where we were finding it a little bit difficult to get the ball through from the back. Um, you know, he, he opened, as soon as we got through that first line of pressure, he was able to open up chances and, uh, yeah, I thought his performance was excellent. How do you leave this camp feeling? Because a few people have said maybe you've left with more questions than answers. No, I think we've learned a lot. You know, we've been able to see um, a lot of players that we might not have been able to see. We've played two high-level opponents, so there's been strengths and weaknesses to our game. Um, the bit we didn't have against Brazil was that final third, and we had that tonight. We had the creativity, we had chances. Um, so I think we deserved the goal at the end. Um, we've been vulnerable defensively, um, especially on counter-attacks. 
you're probably two of the best teams in in the world at doing that but nevertheless that's that's what we're going to have to uh, improve upon has it perhaps also highlighted the importance of some of the core players that have got you to this point that you haven't had available of course but you know a lot of those players are often criticized but that's why they've been the core part of the team so um, but I was I was so pleased at the character shown by the boys that played tonight because people had to step up Declan Rice captain in the team I thought was absolutely outstanding in both of the games but tonight as captain he he took up another uh, level of leadership um, and younger players it was a fairly young team tonight really stepped forward how close do you feel you are to knowing your squad admittedly we've seen though injuries can change a lot yeah well you're joking we've got 15 <laughs> missing so i haven't got a clue as a stand here tonight but um but i'm pleased for the players and the staff that we took something from tonight because we deserved it well gareth southgate jokingly saying there that he hasn't got a clue who he's going to pick for his 23 man squad 15 players were injured for these two matches that we've seen. But from what we've seen over these last few days, Jill, has anyone almost guaranteed themselves a place that we weren't sure about before? I think uh, Kobe Mainu has to be in there. I think he had a, a great game today. I think there was always a bit of, will it be Ollie Watkins or Ivan Tony? I think Tony just kind of brings that hold up play. He's definitely got that physical presence for the international game. And then adding, obviously, his penalty tonight. So definitely them two, I would say. And I was also impressed with um, Jared Bowen tonight. I thought he works so hard. So it's so difficult. It's actually so difficult. But what a position to be in that it is difficult, really. Yeah, who's given him the most headaches, do you think, Joe? I think he's going to... He's going to have a lot of headaches. I, and I, I only think he's half-joking when he says he hasn't got a clue because he's old enough and experienced enough and been England player and manager to know that these next eight weeks, ten weeks, whatever long it is to when the tournament starts, there's going to be injuries, there's going to be players out of form, there's going to have, he'll have a conundrum to think about. There'll be so many... You know, and, and you take one player out of the squad and then that will affect another player in a different, complete position when you're thinking about the balance of it. It's like putting together a, a great meal. You have to have all the right recipes <laughs> at the right time. And if you have one bad... Something's off... That's coming from a man that runs a restaurant. I'm worried. Well, yeah. This, <laughs> if, if something's off, if one of your ingredients is off, is off it can spoil the whole meal. Yeah. And, and so he asked the Gareth and his team pick... The right ingredients. For <laughs> I love it. Um, and I've not had well, no dinner, so I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, to prove just how hard a job Gareth Southgate has, I've made all of you guys put together a 23-man squad. So, Rob, let's start yep. with you. Yep. Um, how difficult did you find it? There's only one or two spots. I mean, after the game, penned in, Kobe Mainu. It, all of a sudden, you just went, yeah, he's in. And you're looking at it, I think Rhys James, if he's fit, he's got to go. He's that good a player. Yeah, worth pointing out, this is if everyone is fit. Yes, yeah. Mm. yeah. And I think the, the other one that was in there, I think that the, the big tick for tonight was James Madison coming on. I think Gareth Southgate alluded to that, said it was a real positive from him that he, he did create that bit of magic, yeah. that bit of something for that second goal. And the one that I didn't have going before tonight, and it's still a question mark, I would say, is Jared Bowen. I didn't think he would get anywhere near the squad. Not anything that he's out of form or anything like that. Just, he just didn't fit right now until tonight. Mm. And then tonight he's given Gareth Southgate mm. a real headache. And I think if he carries on playing for West Ham and Jack Grealish doesn't carry on playing for Manchester City, he's in. Jill, what's Rob got wrong with his squad then? Let's take a look at what you've got in yours. I don't even know if it's wrong or right. Um, obviously, I've put Rico Lewis in there just because I think he can... I think he's a great right-back, which will add cover, and he can also fill in in centre midfield. So that'll probably be one where people kind of have a question mark um, above that. I've got Kieran Trippier in there. And the reason I put him in there is because I think the players that don't play at the Euros are so vital to the squad. You need positivity. Them are the ones that are really going to be driving the team when they need it. So, yeah, I've left out Cole Palmer as well, so mm. that's also a big and one. And Gallagher. Yeah, and Gallagher. But I can't imagine a team without Jack Grealish in it. I know he hasn't been playing a lot in Manchester City, but when I was writing it down... I just can't leave him out. It's as if he needs to be in that England squad. Mm. Well, Joe, I know you're a big fan of both Gallagher and Palmer, so let's see whether mm. you've included them in your 23-man yeah. squads. I mean, my, my, my... You have, but you've left Marcus Rashford out. Yeah, I mean, listen, you're going to get some headlines. And, and listen, that's, people will say, 
you're leaving. So, uh, there's a reason for leaving players in and uh, leaving players and leaving players out. Again, with Marcus, I love Marcus as a player. I think he's a top class player. You know, and he's, he's had an indifferent season. There's been ups and downs, and that's been right the way through his career. He's, he's hit the heights, and then he's. And I just think I wouldn't start him in my England team because my front three will be Kane, Saka, and Foden. And then I start thinking about right. That's my. I know that's my front three if the, if everyone's fit. And then I'm thinking to myself, right, where am I going to get bangs for my bucks in terms of play? I just question, you know, is he at the stage of his career where if you're, he's at it and he's every minute on that pitch for England is the meaningful as meaningful for him as it is for someone like a Jared Bowen, who will go to the Euros and if he plays one minute will will be, will be the proudest man in the country and and make something happen. Cole Palmer, a young player, and I'm also thinking for tournaments coming, they're going to be England players. So, I mean, it's almost... I'm <laughs> leaving him out, it's almost like... But only because I won't start him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's tough.